Sweet Sweet Doc Martin friends, and today we are back with an unboxing. So I ordered some Doc Martens, and I thought it would be fun with you guys when I order them or place an order to unbox them with you, so you guys can share in my experience how I feel when I unbox some new pairs that I have been eyeing. So today we're just gonna get right into it. I have the I have the box right here, so let's get into this. It's a big one. I got two pairs of box in here and an accessory. The accessory was a bit of an impulsive splurge, but I am a cow print girly, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay. All right, so I think the first thing I want to do is take out the bag. So here she is in her plastic glory. So here is the cow print bag I ordered. I think the strap is inside. I'm hoping. Yes, the strap is inside. So it's like this fur cow print bag. Leather, of course. The back is leather. I actually really like the back of this, that it's not cow print. And then here's the strap. So the great thing about these bags is they can be a crossbody and they can be a book bag. In all honesty, I find the style of these bags quite childish, but I really, really still like them. And I'm in this in-between place where I'm like, if I was like 25, I feel like it would be acceptable. But because I'm 30, about to be 31, that maybe this is too childish for me. However, I do not care. I'm just gonna tell you that I don't care. I don't care how childish it is. I'm still gonna rock it. So anywho, now that I got that off my chest, this is like a fur on here. And I think that's so cool. I do not think it's real, but this bag is so cute. I love how much space is in these too. When I was using my purple one, there was so much space in here. And then this front pocket unclasps. Usually with Doc Martin bags, you have the buckle and the clasp. So you can actually open it up with the clasp and you can leave the buckle however tight you want it. And then this is a little bit more of a small pocket, like maybe for, I don't know, cards and stuff or money, but yeah, this is really nice. And this clasp feature is actually one of my favorite things. Like just the fact that you don't have to unbuckle it every time. And they even have an ID holder in the back of this. But yeah, and then you can do a book bag or a crossbody, like I said, with this strap. So it's multi-use. So my only complaint with these is I do wish you could hold it as like a regular bag. So, I mean, to be fair, I'm sure you could adjust these so that you could just carry it like a little handbag which is, I think, my preference with this. I don't mind crossbody style either. I do think that these straps can be adjusted to use it as a handbag if you would like, because they are adjustable, I'm pretty sure. Just let me, before I say they're adjustable, let me look. Oh, no, 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 they are, they are. So yeah, this, this strap is adjustable, so you could technically pull it super tight and attempt to make it like a handbag, which I think is what I'm going to do. Or I may buy a strap that is smaller but similar to make it a handbag because handbag style is my preference or like a clutch or a tote bag so yeah that is my verdict on that but overall I really love this bag I think it is super gorgeous the detail on it the cow print I really really like the sleekness of this it's sleek for a cow print bag it's like loud but sleek again why I love Doc Martin they have that balance between Ooh, that catches somebody's eye and like, oh, but it looks good. You know what I mean? Like, it's not too much. It's not too little. So, yeah, this is super cute. I love cow print. I even bought the cow print Doc Martens that were on the website. So, super excited about those. Um, I was thinking about them for three weeks. I had them in my cart on the Doc website. And I wanted to make sure I really, really wanted them because, oh, but they are, oh, they're good. They kind of remind you of a 90s, like, straight, they're straight 90s Doc Martin. Like, the chunky loud awkward <laughs> you know like that type of shoe uh but the color on these is so good like okay i should i should probably like hold this up so you guys can see yeah, so this this is the first guy and then i'll bring out the other guy so beautiful oh my gosh guys do you see these yeah, 
these are amazing and the 8053 had that like tuxedo style to the shoe like it's a classic dress shoe and they're i think they're a little bit more cushiony up here too so the break-in process we're gonna see if there's any with these particular pair but and they're a platform soul i'm a platform soul girl soul girly uh, I just love platform soles and everything. That's who I am. I, I have I have short legs. That's probably why. But these are so beautiful. I can't even get over how pretty these are. It's the color for me. I love the color of these. I wouldn't have minded the classic black, but I already have the classic black Oxford. So I didn't want to get to basically the same pair. I don't know. It's really nice. And the laces are different. They're thinner, which is interesting to me. But yeah, I'm so excited to wear these. When I style these, I'll post a picture on my Instagram, which I can link my Instagram down below so that you guys can see. And then eventually we'll review these too. So yeah, these are these are really pretty. And then the soles. Oh, there's nothing like a good, crisp, clean Doc Martin sole. I think I'm going to have fun doing these. But this is the last pair I ordered. Also, I'm so excited for these. Like I ordered ones that I have been thinking of for weeks. The great thing about Docs too is that when you go on their website and you put Doc Martens in your cart, they always are there. I don't want to speak and say that they don't like kick them out of your cart, but I feel like if you're somebody who buys regularly and you're somebody who has signed up on their website, they do not touch the Doc Martens that you put in your cart. Like I had them sit for a month and they were still in there. So just a heads up, if you're shopping Docs and you have your eye on some, get signed up on the website, get a cart, get your favorites, get your wish list, put them all in there, put whichever ones you really, really want in your cart are a made in England. I'm going to start collecting more made in England versions because I feel like these are slept on. They are so much more pricey, but they are more authentic. I feel not to say they're not still fast fashion. They probably still are, but I do like the authenticity they bring. So these are a made in England pair and these are a trending pair. I do want the suede ones too, just an FYI, but these are super trendy right now. Quote, quote, trendy. I kind of, kind of want to wear them today, actually. I'm wearing my bosses right now, my vegan bosses. I'm wearing these today, but I kind of want to wear these now. Okay, no, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Okay, let me just show you. Let me just show you. I'm so excited. Okay. They come with this bag. What? The shoe bag? I've never seen Doc Martin give me a shoe bag before. That's that's really cute. And it's like linen. It's a linen shoe bag so the shoe can breathe. Do you, do you see that? Get out of here, Doc Martin. Mm, okay. All right. They got to level everything up over here. See these. Oh, I should probably show you the front of the box. Guess what? Yeah, I gave it away. They're a clog. <laughs> a clog. The George Black and they're leather. They're black leather. The reason why I want the suede ones is because you can move this back and forth and that's... That's definitely a plus. But I actually got these in my true size seven because they weren't a platform. Like I said, usually my other ones were six. Uh, usually I get non-platforms in a seven and I'm really glad I did. So these are <laughs> beautiful. Uh, they're a made in England clog. They remind me of a clog. They're a slingback, I guess. I guess slingback, quote, quote. I don't know if the slingback is actually the correct term because I think if you can move this part, it's more of a slingback, but... Yeah, that aside, so these do have adjustable straps. They're not a platform, like I said. I feel like they're not quite a 1460 style. Maybe I'm wrong. So uh, maybe maybe they're closer to that one, but oh, these are so beautiful. Like they're so simple, but imagine just slipping these on with any outfit. Like they're gonna level up the outfit and they're gonna be comfortable. So, you know, again, things that I love, comfort, edginess, something that catches your eye in an outfit you know it's just a necessity for me something in my outfit has to be standout-ish I I feel so bleh when I wear stuff that does not look like me it has to look like me so that's what I mean by standout but you know so this pair is going to be perfect this is going to be a perfect addition to my collection so these beauties are perfect they are perfect they have the sole they even have this little key tag on here and then they do have the main england logo on the bottom and they do have an inspected by rose sticker so they were inspected very professional of this gold detailing in here too that's so so cool i mean you'd probably be able to glimpse it when you're walking in them which i also kind of like no tab but there's 
a lot of strong buckle detailing on here. So obviously you could tell they're Doc Martens plus the yellow stitching. We all know yellow stitching means Doc Martin. But yeah, these are going to be so good. There's nothing like getting a box of new Doc Martens and you're like, oh, I cannot wait to style these babies. That's all I'm saying. That concludes the haul. I don't want to talk too much more about these because I will be styling and reviewing them for you. Comment down below if there's another pair of Doc Martens that you want me to review. I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking about doing next, but a review is coming to next Thursday's video. So let me know if you guys want to see anything specific or maybe you want to see one of these new pairs. Let me know. We can do that. But yeah, thank you so much for being here, y'all. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I had fun sharing my excitement with you guys. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.